Eshawn Burgundy, man. Check it out. I've been trying not to make a video about this because I'm not really on the Hebrew Israelite tip like that. But I know a little bit. But I know more about gospel. You know what I'm saying? I know more about the gospel and I know more about being a Christian, being in Christ. You know what I'm saying? And listen, I like Eshawn, man. And shout out to my man, Hold the Line Ministries, Brother Keith, man. Because I'm going to tell you what, Brother Keith loves Eshawn, man. He loves him, but he loves Christ more. And I know it took a lot for him to be making these videos about him like that, about Eshawn like that. But I'm making a video about that, and I, I know a lot of believers are also because, man, we worried about that man's soul. His soul was on the line, right? And I really believe, I really thought the way he rapped, the way he came at with scripture, I thought he was more sound than that. I thought he was more, but that's the thing. Time will tell who is in the faith, who is of, uh, 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 of the brothers. And the thing is this, man. I don't know everything about the Hebrew Israelites, right? But I do know this. I listened to that interview by uh, KB, KB something, man. I forgot his name. And I sent it to uh, Brother Keith. That brother, that got a good channel. Straight up. And I'm listening, right? And he really is putting the emphasis on being an Israelite, meaning that you're in the faith, meaning that you're saved because you're an Israelite. And I'm blown away by that. Like... Or your color means you're an Israelite. Either way, even if your color don't mean you're an Israelite and the other people are Israelite, listen. What does Roman Romans mean when Romans says that because of unbelief they were grafted out, so I could be grafted in a Gentile? It's not about being an Israelite or not, bro. It's about having Christ. It's about having Jesus, man. So being an Israelite is so good. Why was those Israelites drafted out, crafted out so Gentiles could be grafted in? And he told the Gentiles, don't get boastful because if they, who it was the first initiated to, can be grafted out because of unbelief, what you think is going to happen to you? You see, it's not about your heritage. It's not about... Your skin color It's about Jesus Bro The whole New Testament Is leading up to what? The revelation of Jesus Christ I'm Hey man I'm not lying I know people around you Are feeling like Paul When Paul said You gonna let these people Just come in And just take the gospel from you After the hard work That people have done Witnessing to you And doing all this And, and and you're going to let these people just come in and take your faith? I'm amazed by that. that you, and you say, well, I'm, you know, it's the same. It's not the same thing. If you're trusting in being an Israelite, if you're trusting in your skin color, your skin color, to be saved, that means you're in the faith. You are making an idol, bro. You are substituting the work of Christ. Hebrews chapter 10, 26. If you go on sinning willfully after receiving the knowledge of truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice. Get what I'm saying? If you go on sinning willfully, what is he talking about? After receiving the knowledge of truth, what is he talking about? Go read chapter 10, the whole thing. Matter of fact, go read all the Hebrews. It's talking about being, Christ being the finished work. Christ dying once for all for sins. There's no more sacrifice meaning I'm Talking about unbelief Rejecting the work of Christ That's the sin he's talking about And if he's talking about any kind of other Show me in context what he's talking about Because it says in verse 27 There no longer remains a sacrifice for sins Why? Because you're rejecting the only one that he has offered I'm telling you Esau Brother listen if you're really in Christ, Christ will bring you back. I know he will. But man, you are playing with fire. By letting these people just come in and take you away from the faith that you said. Remember in Angels? You said, I used to love being dark, black tint over my eyes. They put it back, bro. 
they pull it back. They put that tent right over your eyes. And it got you thinking that you being an Israelite or your skin color means that this is how you are saved. No, man. It's belief. It's belief in the one true Christ. Man. Hey, bro, and I get, and I get into it with the people with the lose your salvation stuff. I'm like, because they say, I'm like, do you understand how powerful this sacrifice was? That there is no other. It's so powerful. Because it's God. It's so powerful. There is no other. So that means you saying I'm sorry. That means you begging for forgiveness. That means you saying I'm an Israelite. That means you saying I'm, I'm, I'm a particular color. It doesn't matter if you're rejecting Jesus. It don't matter. And you, and, and, and like my boy Keats, my brother Keats said, man. Brother Keats said, I tell my mama. I did tell my mama this. I told her straight up. Because she was a Catholic. You lost. Now, do I believe all Catholics are lost? No, because that's, I believe some of them don't even hold to the teaching of being a Catholic. They're really trusting in Christ. they just been in that, that religion for so long that they're blinded to the fact. But they're playing with fire. I'm going to be honest, they're playing with fire. But I told my mom, I told my aunt, a lot of people, some who I really believe are saved, like my mother-in-law, I believe she is really saved. Because she's trusting in Christ Not a religion But the thing is this bro I told my mama I said mom She wasn't even trusting in what, what, what Christ was doing In a Catholic religion Which was nothing I said if you don't accept Christ Mom you going to hell And I thank God because right before my mom died A couple years before that she did accept Christ The true Christ But before that she told me I don't want him She didn't say I didn't want Christ She said I don't want what you got basically and God saved her. But Eshan, man, come on, bro. You know, you know the scriptures. You know better. It's all about Jesus. If you add anything to Christ, anything, you're adding works. You're adding works. Which the that works that the Bible is always talking about. Go read chapter eleven of Hebrews. What's the works they talking about? Faith, man. Faith in God. Because look at the works that uh, he said Abraham was justified. He was about to kill Isaac. That, looking naturally, that's not a thing to do, right? But God said he's, just, he's trusting what God said. Listen, man. You can't let these people take you away from your Savior. You can't let these people do that, man. You see, that's the problem when you're around people and you get infatuated by them. Meaning, you like their style. You like how they speak. That's why a lot of these prosperity preachers and that's why a lot of these people are so successful because they, 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 they're attracted to itching ears, right? Like the Bible says. People with itching ears, man, they want to hear that. And look, you telling somebody, look, you are a, man, you are Israel. You're an Israelite. By, the, by, by your skin color that, that would make a person feel A certain type of way That would make them feel like Man, like I'm Christ chose I mean, God chose me Well, God chose you in Christ That don't mean a lot And what you're saying to the brothers and sisters That's not of That's not of the Israelite fold When clearly the Bible says that Some Israelites Were grafted out so that us Gentiles could be grafted in. I'm praying for you, Eshan. I'm praying for you, bro. But I'm just be honest. I've seen a lot of brothers and sisters go through this. It's like the parable of the souls. The seeds and the souls, right? It's not about money, people. The parable of the seeds and the souls. He went out to sow some seed. Some seed fell on good ground, some seed fell on not so good ground, right? You see people, get, they hear the gospel and they get, you know, they look like they believe for a while, right? They got the fruits, right? People always say look for the fruit. Well, I see, I know a lot of people that have fruit. But then tribulation comes. Problems come. 
and they, they leave Christ. Why? Because they never they were never part of us. They went away from us because they never was part of us. I'm praying for you, Ishan. But the thing is this. Don't wait for God to get your attention. You might not like that. 